Hey guys, it's Sonia popping back on. I told you I would see you soon. It really wasn't all that long, right? So I wanted to pop back on because I've got some happy mail that has been staring at me and uh, I need to open it, right? It's killing me because I like to open my, ha open my happy mail here live with you guys and you tell me you enjoy it as well. So we're gonna see what surprises are in the bag. As you guys are loving on, um, tell me hello, make sure Facebook is working okay. And I'm also gonna share with you guys, uh, because I've just been getting so many questions about keto, about like what do you eat and that sort of thing. So I was making myself, uh, I just finished into my coaching, my business coaching group, and uh, we we're having a lovely chat in there. And uh, I just got done with that and I'm like, I gotta make myself some lunch, okay? So this is kind of like a late afternoon lunch, you know what I'm saying? But this might give somebody uh, some ideas out there as well. And no, you don't starve on keto or anything like that. You guys know, you've been asking me, Sonia, you know, have you been losing weight? What have you been doing? Tell me the secret. The truth is that I've been doing the keto diet since the beginning of the summer. I positively love it. And uh, so this is an example of what I throw together, right? Hey, Cindy Lee, how are ya? So I have got in here, this is my mozzarella cheese. Take a look at that. Mm -hmm. Anybody else love the matzo balls? Love, 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 love. And then I've got some um, salami. And then I've got some olives. Mm, yum. And then I've got some green pepper. Right there, Christy, you hit the 20 pound loss mark. Oh my gosh. That is fantastic. Mm, 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 mm. Who wants some? Mm -hmm. Hey, EA, how are you guys? Oh, that's so good. So that's my that's my like afternoon. Right there. Last night Matt made pizza burgers. Me, I didn't have the bun. So I just did like the pepperoni and the sauces, everything else you would have on a, um, like a pizza burger, except mine is the bun. It is awesome. I feel so good. You've lost 11 pounds. Holy moly. So I've had two times where since the summer that I kind of took a break because I believe in balance as well. And so that was when I went home to Newfoundland. I'm like, I haven't been home in years. I'm going to eat mom's good cooked food. So I just kind of was like planned to do it and just did it. And also I planned out when we had our anniversary me and Matt had our wedding anniversary at the end of October. And so during like over a weekend and a few days, I just let myself just go ahead and eat whatever I wanted because we want to go to eat and to celebrate and that sort of thing. So as long as it's planned, right? That's, that's kind of like my thing that you don't just start something and then all of a sudden you're taking a cheat day or you're taking time off. No, I did the time. I did three months and then I allowed myself to have my first like, you know, cheat event. But I will tell you, as long as you're planning it, then that, that can be part of your thing, right? So I'm at the point now where, and I never weighed myself when I first started keto. I just um, just kept, you know, eating it, maybe feel good. This the clarity, just I just felt so good, and uh, I loved it, right? And so as long as you plan the stuff, then it can be part of your strategy. But now I'm to the point where um, I know I've lost 30 pounds, and I never weighed myself the entire way. All I knew was I was putting on like my jeans and stuff like that, and I would see a huge difference. And I'm like, holy moly! Last time I put these on, like, I swear they were tighter. And um, I, I'm somebody who lives with hypothyroidism. Anybody else out there have th thyroid issues? And so I go for my regular checkup and I went and they did my blood work and everything, like all my blood work was awesome and I just felt so, so good. But they weigh you when you go there and she's like, girl, you are 30 pounds le less than when you were here. So over uh, three months I lost 30 pounds and I'm still going, right? So I took some time off to just indulge whatever I wanted to do. And now I'm back on my, my game again. So, um, and I think what I'm gonna do going forward is just kind of like, just like maintain and manage, meaning that um, maybe I'll do like four weeks of keto and then allow myself a cheat day, you know? Not every day. Because for those of you who follow keto, it can take you like probably like two to seven days to get back into what's called ketosis. And so what that means is that um, your body basically reverts to burning fats versus sugar, which hello, we're trying to get rid of fat, right? So I love it. It's been a great thing for me. All my blood work has been positive. My blood work has never been so good for all of you guys who have been asking. And But yes, it is hard, right? Like, I mean, it's hard in terms of, you know, when you have the cravings, but as long as you just keep yourself like full so that way you don't let yourself get depleted and go, I am starving. I will eat anything in this house, right? So this is a awesome treat for me today. So anyway, for those of you who have been asking, yes, that's what I've been doing behind the scenes. So I've got some Happy Mail to open. By the way, I have to tell you, uh, Matt's been working, okay? So this is Matt's baby right here. Matt has been working on doing all kinds of merch, 
right? All kinds of swag, banana bunch swag for us. Look at this. He's got a pink face. Okay, he's been even let. He's been like experimenting with layering uh, colors to be able to create these shirts. So we made some big investments here at the Junk Monkey to be able to produce our own um, all my shabby florals. You're going to see them on all kinds of different sorts of like different sorts of products, and we wanted to be able to do that for you guys and, and to be able to manage it in house and give to the work to everybody that we've brought on as part of our crew, you know, and spread that love around. When you guys buy the love, you support the whole crew. So, um, yeah, so this is something he, he's experiment with. What do you think? The pink face, a little bit of like girliness going on here. The, he got these. These are like raglan shirts. I think they're called raglan shirts, right? And so uh, he's been experimenting with these as well. So he like makes a shirt and he's like, try this on, Sonia. See, see how this looks. What do you think of it? So I think he's doing okay. I think you're doing okay. Matt just walked in the room. I like these. I love these actually a lot, like a lot. And so if you can see in the back as well, we just put up on the website 15 more aprons that Matt just made, that he just made. These are the 15 that are currently up there because we experiment, Matt experiments with, experiments with like glitter and pinks and oranges and greens and all that sort of stuff. So right now the 15 that are online on our website, first come first serve, um, these are the black print. Look at that, Jug Monkey! I, I'll tell you why I love these aprons, okay? I don't want a long apron. You know why? Because, yes, people who don't furniture paint, they don't understand that when you're painting furniture and you're getting up and you're getting down, you don't want an apron that actually, like, sticks to your knees. You know what I'm saying? So if you put on the apron, you're like, dang, this feels like a little bit smaller than a usual apron. You ain't cooking in that standing still. You're probably getting up, getting down, you're moving around, right? And so for me as a shabby painter and a furniture painter, I don't want no giant apron because I don't want to wear a cape when I'm painting. You know what I'm saying? I just need something basic to cover this area. And it has the two pockets in the front so I can throw like my rags or whatever is in there, my sand blocks, you know, anything like that, right? That's all you got to do. But yeah, 15 of those just got put up on our website just to let you know. And there are shirts and uh, sweatshirts, all kinds of stuff coming, and that is all thanks to Matt. Bless you, because that's what he's doing, right? That, that's, that's his thing over there. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and open up this piece of mail here. Woohoo! I love it, look. See, I told you, listen, banana bunch people, people who use, banana, who use uh, our Jug Monkey paint, we're just fun people. Look, just something silly. When you get a piece of mail that says uh, just something silly, oh yeah. Those are my peeps, you know what I'm saying? We know how to have a good time, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. All right, I'm gonna open this up, and it came here from Pennsylvania. Let's see what it is. Susan, is this your happy mail? It's my happy mail. Oh my gosh, all right, and I love what she's done as well. She even stenciled, look guys, what a great idea. She stenciled on her letter. Can you see that right there? She even put like flowers and stuff like that on it. So there you go, if you're sending out gifts, just put some junk monkey on it and it'll stick right onto your envelopes and your packages, all right? All right, oh my gosh. All right, you guys know that uh, I'm, I, I tell you that this is like, you know, no drama llamas want it. You know what I'm saying? No, no, keep your problems to yourself. So this is from, oh my gosh, this is from Susan. All right, I know it's from you, Susan, right? This is from Susan. And look, guys, she sent me a wooden gift tag that says it's the no problema. It's going to look in reverse to you guys, but I promise she put the words on right. Look at that. I love it. No problema. Oh my gosh. I'm going to hang this one when I'm done. I'm going to put a nail, and it's probably going to go like right there to my my collage of collections when you guys send me stuff um, to be able to put to my, my craft wall here behind me. Like, I love that. Thank you, Susan. You're gonna see that in all my videos. I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. All right, so let's see what's next. Last name on here says Bratton. Now I know, could this possibly be, could this possibly be who I think it is? Let's see here. send me stuff. Uh, it says, Sonia Matt, thank you for your inspiration using your wonderful paints. I'm so thankful I found you online and follow you both in your journey with Junk Monkey. Hope you like your happy mail. Gala. Oh, that's so awesome. And she sent me this really fun card, paint a card. Okay, awesome. Oh my gosh. This is pretty. 
Yes, yes, yes. Okay, again, if you could find print. I don't know if the, what this was. I'm, I'm guessing Gaelic was maybe like a, um, a tablecloth cover. And so it had, it's like red with uh, black Christmas trees. Okay, so this is gonna be a gorgeous project redo, okay? So we'll make use of this. All this stuff that you guys send me, it's like challenge on. I'm going to make and create with every single thing that you send me. You just gotta keep watching so I find the right project to put it on, all right? Oh my gosh, look, she sent me all kinds of napkins, guys. Gayla, there is a whole box of stuff in here. What are you doing? Oh my Lord, have mercy. All right, look guys, so I've got all kinds of napkins that she sent me. Let's see here, we've got anchors. And, oh, I love that. Look at that. Like, geometric is kind of cool. Look at this. Got some fall stuff. These are beautiful right here, like distressed. All right, we've got some, oh my gosh, colorful stuff here. Look at that. Polka dots. <gasps> she found unicorns. Unicorn alert. There are napkins with unicorns on them. Oh my gosh. The crab is awesome. You guys know, girl born on an island, loves her island stuff. No way. No way. Is this what I think it is? Oh, giraffe napkins, giraffe napkins. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. All right, gotta add that to my stash. Gotta add that to my stash, all right. What is this? It's a monkey, it's a monkey. All right, he's, listen, Gailey, it says happy birthday. Do you know my birthday's coming up in a couple weeks? Is that why you sent that to me? Either way, I'd love him anyhow, but yeah, he's my birthday monkey, okay? So now he's going to need a little stand to go on. Oh my gosh. Look, is he not cute or what? Kate, do you love him? I do. Do you see him? He's freaking cute. Oh my goodness gracious. All right. So she sent me a tin with a monkey on it. Look at this. All right. Now I got to think about all the good stuff I can, you know what? This would be perfect for like my paper clips. Anybody else like keep boxes and anything, cardboard tins, anything and reuse them. This is going to be perfect for like my paper clips. I'll put next to my desk. And it's pretty, it's got a monkey on it. Oh my gosh, I love it, I love it, I love it. For the first time ever, you guys know that we uh, moved downstairs and expanded to a different part of the building here. So for the first time ever, I actually have like an actual DIY office spot where all my stuff comes to live, right? Because a lot of times before I would film DIYs right in the middle of our, um, our, our store downstairs. And so I will always have to unpack stuff and move stuff. And it's so nice to be able to get things in place now and put them on the wall. And I can just come in and enjoy them because you're, you're happy. your space should be a happy space. Okay, this is awesome. This is, I'm gonna put all this stuff on the wall. I just want you to know, oh my Lord, I know, oh my gosh. Is this not cool? Kayla, girl, we're gonna have to, uh, we're gonna have to team up and do a live. Hey Matt, you gotta come see this. Chef Matt, come see this. Come here, you gotta come see this, Chef Matt. Gayla sent us goodies, and I'm pretty sure this one has your name on it. Look. Do you get oh, it? Oh, that's funny. Yeah, sure. Look. Maybe that looks like me. I think that's me right there. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this with the ponytail and everything. That's going to go on the wall. Look. Yeah, that is going to go on the wall. I love oh these. Oh, my gosh. There is nothing better when you guys send me, like, handmade art. I love it so much. Okay. Look at this. All right. This is a cute. This could be you, Kate. This could be you. Oh my gosh, this could be you, Kate. Yes, absolutely, right? You see it? All right? I'm trying Cute. to see it on the camera. Cute. Can you see it? It's loading. Give it a sec. All right. This is Adam. This is Adam because he likes music. Look, this is Adam. Oh my God, it is. The other monkey. They're all going to go on the wall, the whole collection. And then this has to be a Loria right here. This has to be a Loria, right? Because she's got like blonde hair. She helps us with our videos, anything behind the scenes. You've seen her paint the front windows of the store. I Super duper it. creative. <laughs> oh my gosh, Gayla. You are just, you are just amazing. Look at this, guys. All right. Look at this here. Look at this here. <laughs> it's the whole family. It's the whole family. I love it. Oh my gosh. I'm going to put that on the wall, okay? <laughs> All right. Let me see. What else is here? What else is here? I've got a... Look, she did a little flower pot and put like this dripped paint effect on it. Oh my goodness. Okay. What is this? <gasps> no, it is. It's a spoon rest and it's a monkey. Look, it's going to go on the shop stove. 
or maybe I, I don't know, I feel like I'm going to need to keep it close to me. It's probably going to go next to my desk and I can put things onto it again, like paper clips and little things like that. Look at that! Ah, uh, see, you know, what do you guys collect out there? Do you guys collect roosters, cows? Like, what is the thing that makes you tick? Uh, <laughs> look at this. She sent me a sign that has been, it looks like she did the napkin technique on it. She stenciled on it. And look, beach. Because you guys know, I'm a daughter of a fisherman and I can't help hide what's inside, but I love me some beach. Oh my gosh, all this stuff is going to go on my wall, behind me. Let me make sure I'm not missing anything. Uh, you guys, what am I going to do with you guys? I love all this stuff, right? Beaches, yeah, absolutely. It's the, it's the things in life that just, the small things in life that just mean so much, right? Like... I'm serious. Like all you need is a little bit of paint, some time to create, some good friends, and just a good laugh, right? Like this here <laughs> is just too amazing. I, I love it. She bought chip brushes just so that she could do that. She might have. She like she totally painted the entire brush and stuff and everything as well. Oh my gosh! So this is gonna be so awesome. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We're gonna be putting all this. We're gonna be putting all this up. Absolutely. What'd you guys think of that, right? You love elephants? See, everybody has their things, right? And there's nothing better than a handmade gift. There's not. You know, somebody thought of you when they put it together. They took the time to send it to you, to wrap it to you, and um, that is not lost on me. So thank you, Gayla, and thank you, Susan. You made my day today. I cannot wait to add this to my collection and put this on the wall. So I gotta tell you, one of the things that I'll be doing here as well, as I, can you believe it was a year ago? Who followed me a year ago when I tried to get Bob's hair to grow? <laughs> Let's talk about this for a second, okay? <clears throat> so yeah, tried so hard to get Bob's hair to grow. You know, could not, I, I just kill things. I cannot grow real flowers. Fake ones, I'm super good at those. But this one here, um, last year, right around this time, I tried to make Bob's hair, his Chia Pet hair grow. You can see the seeds, they didn't go anywhere. I mean, I went and I soaked those things. I wore a, I put a, like a hairnet over him, made a greenhouse on his head, put him in the front of my store, moved him into the sunshine. It was an experience, Kate, it was. I'll never forget it, right? And Bob's still smiling, God love him through all that. But um, I really feel a project coming on because I found him today and I'm like, yep, it was a year ago, Bob. We tried it. We really tried it. And um, so I've got some plans for him. So maybe tomorrow on here, I'm going to show you um, how I'm going to make Bob's hair grow. And it's going to happen all live on camera in one session. Yeah, I think tomorrow's the day, Bob. It's getting chilly out there. He needs his hair. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, those what those are a few things I want to talk with you guys about today. So that's the sort of stuff I eat for you guys who've been asking me like questions about keto and that sort of thing, or what it is that I do eat my eat my my meal plan. And uh, yeah, so swag is in the house. It's getting made. Fifteen aprons are currently up. Matt makes all those. Um, he does that. That's his. That's his department. Okay, he does all that. I'm making, creating, paint, and all that good stuff over here. Get to hang out with you guys. Who sent me awesome happy mail? Someone just send me another sheet. No, no, I can't even make the first one work. <laughs> I can't even make the first one work. All right, but you know what? I'm a girl who believes that you should never give up. That you should just never give up, you know, and just do what you gotta do. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just gonna eat my supper. Good ideas for Bob's hair. I need some hair plugs? Hmm. Yeah, right? Don't give me ideas. All right, but I am going to the craft department, I think, tomorrow to find him some hair. All right, guys, I'm going to finish my supper. Hope you guys have a great evening, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.